Hello, Mr. Pigeon. How do you do? How do you do? How's it going? Scared of the dog? Apparently not. Hey guys. Very sunny day today. And the bird suddenly just started walking. I'm gonna walk along with it. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, but yeah, so I thought I'd get out the um, ant's fireplace because um, she, says I can, she said I can sell it for her. And I can make kind of like a commission, <laughs> I guess. But uh, the reason why I'm doing it now is because I think she said she said she thinks it's brass. And I looked up at a, at a clean it, so there's a certain different things I need to clean it. But um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I don't know if it's actual brass. Because it's the website I saw it, um, wiki how um, was to say um, get a magnet and see if it connects and it somewhat is it's not as it's not as strong let me, let me show you yeah here it is so you've got a little magnet here it's like a little kids toy um, it's not as strong as it is on here but as you see it does um, stay so I do believe it is brass ah fuck it so yeah, um, it's a nice little fucking, nice little fucking thing, you know, not too bad, I mean this is all fucking glass here, if you can see it, so, I mean, yeah, it's quite cool, on there, I mean, this is all kind of proper thick as fuck glass, it's quite nice though when it shines, where's, the? can't see, it hurts my eyes, but if you saw, yeah, it's kind of bright. So yeah, I need to go through it and clean up all the rocks and clean it up, clean up the brass. But I'm not sure if it's good to keep it as a patina, you know, because I mean, there's some shit in there. So, you know, I mean, oh fuck, it's kind of gone green where it's oxidated. Let me just focus in on it. There you go. See, it's oxidating, so... Hmm. That's a bit of copper as well then, because copper oxidates in um in water. Like you know, that's why you get like copper kind of pipes and shit. And you know, when they get exposed to water, they oxidate and they turn green. Weird thing now, but yeah. So it's a mix. I think it's a mix between copper and uh, yeah. That's, I think it, that's what I need to do. Yeah. I'm gonna need a couple of things on the list on the uh, wiki hell, so I don't think I have most of it. So that's unfortunate. And the dog's wondering what it is. So yeah, probably get I don't know whether to get rid of it or get rid of the patina or not. Because obviously, you know, some vintage things can if you keep if you get rid of the patina it's gonna make it cost a hell of a lot less, so I'm not sure whether to clean it up or not. So Well, my shed isn't attracted to this magnet, so. And I think every day. But yeah, so. I'm going to. I'm going to take it into consideration. I'll have to maybe do a little bit of research on it, and then we'll see if I can. I'll clean it up. We'll see. We'll have to see. So, uh, I was looking up some things for the fireplace. I saw one that was like my name's one. It was going for at least like 150 quid. That's not too damn shabby, I've got to say, not too damn shabby at all. And then I got my nan's bike to sell, and I got my bike to sell from when I was 13. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, that's like another 100, quid, 100 odd quid between them, I guess. Something like that, you know? Because that bike's like brand new, I haven't fucking ridden. I haven't ridden like once or twice. <laughs> shame, really. Really shame. And then, Exos bike downstairs, some fat fuck will want that. You know? <laughs> Solid. 50 quid a pair, and I've got 100, 100 quid there. Solid. Shorted. 
and then I can use that to fuel my addiction for collecting. No, I, I really shouldn't, because there's so many things I want to buy, but I haven't got the money for, and I'm like, I want them, but I don't want them, because I've got no money, and I want to save it. I don't know why, I just want to save it. For life. So, fucking kick up the nuts. But, um, one of uh, the bandline guys, Zachary, he just contacted me for one of my shorts and he's doing some art for it that's gonna be it's gonna look br good because he's, he's, he's a he's a fairly decent artist I've got to say he was good see so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it <sighs> so hot again I don't know why I just, whew, just sit down and get in the bowl and I'm like oh I'm too hot now so I need to grab a drink what you doing hey what you doing hey what are you doing Oh. Oh. You're a beautiful girl. Yes, yeah, she is. Um, my my nan, my other nan, um, who I call Nana, she dropped us some um, some Marvel sticker things. You know, uh, Spider Man. Obviously, my fave, Daredevil. Mm, the movie kind of ruined it, really. And surprisingly, Rhino. Weird. But yes, so they're little kind of cool things. I don't know, actually, when, when as I say, when were they uh, minted? Minted. Fucking money, that you Chan. Um, it doesn't seem to actually say. No. Weird. No clue on them. It's a mystery. Mystery. So I'm going to have a little little drink, and then uh, this is the exercise bike, and I think I'll show you guys, you know, it's decently old, clean that shit up, banging, and also got like 50 friggin posters I want to sell, I'll show you, friggy, friggy, friggy friggin posters, you know, some of them are quite decent, and I think that should go for at least a couple of so yeah, I managed to convince my mum to give me an eBay account, banging, even though I kind of made one already, but I didn't exactly link up my card to it, so, <laughs> I was too dumb to figure it out, I really am too dumb to figure it out, because I think it was like asking me for like the codes, I was like, what's the fucking numbers, and so I, was, I didn't know, I was like, um, so this one, that one, I don't know, fuck it, oh my god, I'm going to the fridge, Got melons. Oh, that's nice. So cool. And the dog's here. So, I'm gonna cool down and relax. Don't do it if you. Oh, that's a shit song. If I'm fucking Zooland or whatever. It's just another shit film. <sighs> so, I've started uh, playing some of my game. See? Been playing it, and it's about almost halfway there, I guess. It's gonna take another long, long time. Fun times, fun times. But Prime Eagle's on for some reason, and some watch. You know, it's a good show. I really miss it. I think they've cancelled it, to be honest. And it's a real shame. It's a real fucking shame. Because I mean, I've got. First two seasons. I'll get him out and show you. Got the first two seasons. I love that colour, oh, yeah. by the way. And that one. You know? And it was it's, it is it is and was is was same thing. A brilliant show. And I've got the others on kind of quote unquote pirate DVDs. So I record it when we're going to record it for me and put them on DVDs for me. But um it's still, it's still a really good show, and they ended last season on a cliffhanger, and that is the worst fucking thing to cancel a shit show. No matter what show it is, if you leave on a cliffhanger, that fucks off people. I remember watching the um, last episode of Sarah Jane Adventures. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't go there. But I mean, I watched that, and then. Um, 
you know, again, left it on a cliffhanger, and then no fault to the, the BBC or whatever, they weren't going to cancel it because it was doing pretty well, I think. Elizabeth Slayton um, got breast cancer and died, so RIP for her. But, I mean, it left on a cliffhanger, and that's so irritating, to be honest. And, I mean, I can't re you can't really blame her, to be honest, but. Yeah, I mean, just the same, regardless, it does piss people off. And I would love to see Primeval again. Love to. Absolutely fucking love to. You know, but... Nothing. Nothing. Because we, we was learning... If you don't want to watch... I oh know, no, no one probably watch it, but it's spoilers just in case. Um, one of the main characters who was in the um, later season when um, Connor and Abby were trapped in the past... Um, they, the new character, they came back, a new character came, was there, and he was from the future. And we were just learning more about the future and why it was so fucked up. And we learned that these silver anomalies, which, and the whole crash show is based on anomalies, like shattered, sh shattering glass through the fabric of space and time, I guess. And it was silver, and there was tons of them. And then Connor was working on like a massive anomaly to manufacture one, like make them yourself. And it was huge. The whole factory collapsed. And then in the future as well, um, the character Helen, she had a little device that can control and open all the anomalies at her will. And it was just incredible. And we was learning more about it and was how the future was so completely fucked. It's like a desert wasteland, they live underground, you know. We've learned so much about that, and then... Let me try again. Gone. No more. And... I need... More. It's, it's a fucking great show. It's about dinosaurs and all sorts. <laughs> yeah, it's about, it's about dinosaurs and all the creatures from the past and the future coming to our time, you know. It's just... Brilliant! It's a brilliant show. It really is. And also one of the other, other main characters who was introduced in season three, um, I think it's season three at least. He is left in back in time. His brother was accused of um, fucking up the future, but he chose from an anomaly, and the anomaly closes, and his brother goes after him. I forget his name now. And he and when they, if they came back in uh, the next season, he was like. <gasps> Oh my god, he's like, yeah, right? He's like, yeah, yeah, how's it going? And then he's like, I've got to go back for him. And he's like, okay, good luck, good minute, see you later, mate. And then she went. And so it'd be great to see him again, because he, you know, he was, he was trapped in the past originally, because he was following Helen with the uh, device. He didn't have the device on him, he was trapped where Abby and Connor were. He was trapped there, in the um, Pranips time, when we were just evolving. So he was stuck there. And so he's followed his brother and stuff, and he's surviving. He had a massive bone, a dance bone, and he was like, bam. It was just so amazing to see him again. I want to see more of it. So ITV, if you're watching this, I don't think not, but bring it back. Bring it back. Hey, in the night off here. Just been watching some storage wars, now some buried treasure. I do love that. It's a pun. Play on words. I love that. I love it. See, what else I've been watching? I pretty much do. Um, as I say, I'm going to end the night off here. Um, because tomorrow I need to get up about 10 ish. Because I need to go home, mate. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow for a great day out at the beach. Let's go to the beach, beach. I don't know that song. Let's take two cans. Goddamn time.